Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today it's time to conclude the Eurovision Song Contest and talk about my daily life as always. If you're just here to see my conclusion, check out the timestamp and skip forward because first I talk about today and today was a Sunday for me. It is basically the aftermath of the whole Eurovision week and I am so tired because I didn't really have a lot of sleep starting on Wednesday because on Tuesday of course we had the first Eurovision semi-final going a bit late then I had to work on Wednesday so there was not really too much sleep going on then and then on Thursday to Friday I had the same thing again and I couldn't sleep in on Friday morning because then I was going to Umeo to pick up the Tesla and then on Friday to Saturday I was camping in the Tesla also not so much sleep and then of course now the grand final same thing this is the day where I basically got the least amount of sleep so now things are slowly settling I think I can slowly yeah relax again but besides this I really had to clean up a lot because I didn't really do too much at my apartment over the last days as I said because I was really busy and I also catched up on some payments that I had to do with certain transactions for insurance and things and actually I was a bit skeptical because I, I had this feeling that I get sick but now it's gone again regarding my daily life I have already prepared my food for the next few days it's going to be another pasta salad. And one last thing that really annoys me is the Wi-Fi is not working since today, basically. Like, it was already kind of weird yesterday. And there's something that I also don't understand. Even like back in time when the Wi-Fi was fully working, every time I was watching a live stream, the Wi-Fi just stopped working for 15 minutes. Then you try it again, it works for like 30, 40 minutes, and then it crashes again only when you are watching live streams and I don't know how or why but now it doesn't work like it's really really having strong hiccups and that is yeah annoying <sighs> but now let's talk about the Eurovision Song Contest 2024 or how some people called it the Eurovision Politic Contest 2024 wow what a drama show this was. I don't really want to go into too much detail because you can see it yourself, watch it on YouTube, read news or whatever. The whole situation with Joost Klein. It feels like the broader audience is on his side and on the Dutch side instead of being on the EBU side. And the other thing, of course, the whole situation between Israel and the demonstrations in front of the arena. So a lot of booze went through this whole show. Every time you saw Israel or every time Israel got points, it was just crazy how much politics were clearly visible this year. Of course, there are always politics going on, but this year it was really, really strong in my opinion. Okay, but in the end, we have a winner and the winner is Nemo from Switzerland. So how did it go? Well, of course, I have recorded the whole jury voting and the public voting so let's take a look how i was reacting during these votings okay guys it's time for the voting are you ready let's see how the jury has voted ukraine is first ukraine's points go to switzerland okay next is the united kingdom portugal wow 12 points go to Switzerland again, Switzerland again, Switzerland again, Switzerland again, Portugal, yes, Switzerland, Ukraine gets 12 points, Luxembourg, Ireland, 12 points, Switzerland, 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 Sweden, and France, France. Switzerland, Greece, Ukraine, Switzerland, Switzerland, ooh, huge booing, Switzerland gets the 12 points, but no reaction from Nemo, 
with the whole Netherlands situation. Switzerland. Portugal. Switzerland. 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 France. France. Switzerland. 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 Croatia, 12 points. Switzerland. Croatia. Switzerland. And that are all the jury votes. Now it's time for the public voting. Estonia. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Norway is last. Holy moly. I really did not think so. Austria. Five. Wow. Spain. Eleven. Whoa. Come on, Serbia. Public. I still love you guys from Serbia. Ah, Cyprus gets a lot of points. Come on, that's a pop song. Ah, okay, 44. Still. Latvia receives 28. Okay. Greece. 85. See? Huge push for Greece. The United Kingdom gets zero points for United Kingdom. Whoa. I did not expect that. Over 300 points for Israel. Luxembourg gets... 20 points. Germany, 18 points. Sweden, 49 points. Oh, Portugal, only 13. Ireland, oh my god, Ireland, come on. 136. Okay. 307 points for Ukraine. Italy, 104. Now Croatia. Public fan favorite. 337 points, they go in the lead. So basically it is now Croatia or Switzerland. Of course also France could get a lot. France, let's see France. 227, so it is not enough. Number three, well deserved France. Who is it going to be, Croatia or Switzerland? What would you guys say? Right here in that moment, Croatia or Switzerland, what did you guys think? Both of them deserve it. Both countries would really deserve it. Switzerland wins. Congratulations to Switzerland. But also congratulations to Croatia with a great song. To France with a so touching song. To Italy. To... Serbia <laughs> to all the other ones. Great, great show. Congratulations, guys. Okay, so to end this video, let's talk about the results of all the 25 countries that were participating in the grand final. And yes, the Netherlands would have been on my top five for this year, even though they have been disqualified. Okay, so 25, Norway, come on guys, why? I really, really love Norway and I think they would have deserved higher up than the 25th place. Then Austria, 24, I kind of predicted that they are not too high up, but still, I would not say that this is a bad thing because they really brought the party to the Eurovision Song Contest. So I don't mind any position for Austria this year. Slovenia, Veronica, I also would have placed them somewhere between 10 and 20. For Spain, I would say it is pretty similar like the one from Austria. Very, very cool song for the, for the crowd to hype up the people. But I was surprised that it only got 11 points from the public voting. So Georgia, well, also a song that really came to mind now during the semi-final and the final, I'm listening to the song basically now on Spotify on repeat. I start to love that song. So I would now place it way higher up. So 21, kind of too low in my opinion, but Estonia, place number 20. I would say that is okay. I actually would have seen them a bit lower because 
the crowd didn't really interact as much as with Spain, for example, or with Austria. I didn't really see them that high up, so better than I expected. Number 19, Finland. I kind of expected them to be not too high up due to the fact that there was not so much charisma brought from them. I still think those guys, those, those two guys, are nice people. Like, I really think they bring a lot of fun. I didn't really feel like they had the opportunity to show the people, the public, what they are as a human being to grab their attention. And they tried really good. You can see 31 points are in public. But of course, the jury always. It's the same with Kerry last year. The public better than the jury. Okay, then we have the United Kingdom. I was really surprised that they received zero points from the public. Didn't expect that at all. Number 18, cannot really yeah, complain about that. However, on the number 17, we have Serbia. And this is a hard one because I really felt that her voice was getting weaker and weaker over, the, over this period. Like when, she, when we were in the semi-final, my feeling was that her voice was better than now in the final. But still, I am sad that she only managed to get the 17th place. For me, it was definitely very high up. It's a great song, very emotional. Yeah, but based on this final performance, I would have placed them um, somewhere around 10 to 15. So 17, a bit too low. I have got to know a new singer, Theodora, and I'm really, really, yeah, following her on her future. So that is something that I really enjoy. Then we have Latvia, Dons. Okay, so... This song I actually, yeah, would have also placed somewhere in between 10 and 20. So 16 is pretty much the middle. I don't know, like it is a good song, but it, it always feels for me like it's the weaker version of the French song. Then we have Cyprus. Don't really have any negative or positive comments about that song. Lithuania is, in my opinion, a bit interesting because it is for me the same as with Austria, but just like a, they're a different language. However, it got way further up, but it's also fine with me. I don't, I don't have anything to complain. So, Lithuania, Sylvester Belt, uh, number 14, that's good. Then we have Luxembourg. I actually um, would have placed that song a bit further down, not because like, I didn't like the song. It is a good song, but compared to other songs that I have now already placed further up on my own like opinion, I would have placed that song further down. Then we have Germany and Germany seems to have finally defeated its losing streak. So let's see where they are going to be next year in Switzerland. But for now, number 12, I really started to like the song after listening to it more and more, seeing the performance of Isaac. So yes, well deserved. Congratulations, Germany. Then we have Greece. Great song. I also expected it to be somewhere around number 10. So very good performance. Then we have Portugal. And for me, Portugal, probably I would have placed it further to the top. Just a great, great storytelling with the scream always, always touching my soul. Then we have Sweden. And that is basically a bit of the opposite of Portugal for me. I would have placed it a bit further down. It is a good song, but... In Sweden's song this year, I, I see a bit of Cyprus. There are really cool parts in it. Cyprus is actually for me a bit better than Sweden. Then we have Armenia. That was really a surprise for me. Because I remember when I did my reaction, I really, really gave it low points. Because I always felt like this song is on loop and on loop and it doesn't really give me anything. But I really enjoyed it and the audience and the jury loves it. So congratulations. Totally deserved great performance. I don't really have to complain about Italy, La Noia, maybe one or two places lower, but number seven also well-deserved Angelina Mango. Okay, number six, Bambi Thug. I actually placed that song a bit higher uh, due to her great performance, but I understand why maybe the jury did not get too much votes because it is just something so different and it is like this horror thing. So yeah, for me it was maybe like one or two places further to the top. But also congratulations of making it in the top 10. 
Then we have Israel. Wow, Israel really got a lot of public voting points. I think number five is really well deserved for the type of music she was doing. It was a great ballad. There were a lot of emotions in that. So, and I can just say she had to fight so much booing going on over the whole night. So congratulations to not get yourself down with so much backlash. And now we have the top four. And those top four are really, really hard for me to basically switch around because I love all of these four songs. Friends had for me the best vocals in the final. If I would only rank the whole Eurovision Song Contest by vocals, Friends would have won for me. Based on the performance purely, I would have placed Croatia on the first number. Great, great performance. Then we have Switzerland and Ukraine which really did both for me. They had a great performance, but also great voices. So if I would have like made it like this, I think also I would have placed Switzerland as a winner and Ukraine number two. But because of course, this is a very yeah individual ranking with public and jury, I really think I would have placed maybe France on number three and Ukraine four, but it is a well-deserved final list in the top four. So, that is my opinion on this year's results. What do you guys think? Were you surprised that a few songs made it in the top 10? Or were you also surprised that some songs, for example, England got zero points from the public? Feel free to include your opinion in the comments. And it's time now to say goodbye. I hope you had a wonderful day. We're going to see each other tomorrow with another video. I don't know if it's going to be a Eurovision song. If you want one, write that in the comments. Bye-bye.